What, dude? What else have we been doing? We put. We oh went yeah, vegan. we just went vegan. Yeah. We just got done going vegan. We got that bored. We went vegan. <laughs> I'm just we we actually we were. Um, McKenna has been. You've been pescatarian for a while now. Yeah. So I uh, it's probably like three or four months. Whenever the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. I stopped eating meat, and then I occasionally have like fish here and there, but not yeah. a ton. Yeah. Um. And then, yeah, we watched a documentary. The Game Changer The Game Changer on Netflix. Yeah. That's something to watch if you're bored at home. You should definitely consider it, yeah. especially with all the food being bought up at the stores. <laughs> no one's buying the vegan options. <laughs> that is so true. So <laughs> that was the one plus of going vegan right before the quarantine. Um, but we just finished it. and the, we, Yeah, we did it for a month. We went, we went 30 days to um, see how we felt. And I, I felt good. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't feel any worse, but I would say this though, I wasn't obviously working out as hard as I used to, um, cause I can't get to a gym. So it's all like body weight stuff. Um, and I can't, uh, not play basketball for several hours a day Yeah. and like B12. Cause that's what the big thing was in the, especially with the game changers documentary. Um, the guy from it, I forget his name. I think it was like James something. Yeah. He, uh, he went on Joe Rogan to defend his film because this other guy had come on the episode before and told him how, uh, explained to Joe about how false the movie was. And so this guy came back on to defend it. And then, um, after that, uh, it was pretty clear that I, I wanted to, um, give it a, give it a try mm-hmm. after that. Cause we, we watched the movie. So we got his point of view uncontested. Yeah. Then we got the op- opposition's point of view. But the other guy just wasn't really qualified to be giving that advice, so I would have much rather preferred to see him, the vegan guy, talk to someone who was a little bit like more qualified expert, yeah. and a little bit more of an expert. Because this guy ended up like losing the debate because he made a bunch of claims and cited the source that used uh, forest plots for a majority of their data, and then later admitted that he could not read a forest <laughs> plot. So it was really bad. There's a lot of memes yeah. about it in Joe Rogan's comments, which was really funny. But. Um, I guess going vegan in general was something that like, it's, I don't know, it's, it's something that we, we were fucking up, like, not just like animals in a sense of like killing animals, but like, we're fucking up a lot of like the earth's ecosystems with mass farming. Um, but that was one point that, uh, I will say the, um, the opposition to the vegan guy said with, cause you're still mass produce like mass farming uh soy and yeah. things like that which is destroying it as well but in that sense it either in, i guess in both senses you still need um farmers that are rotating crops and rotating livestock mm-hmm. because if you're not doing that then either way you're gonna lose yeah you're gonna lose uh land i'm eating meat right now says pat um i ate meat yesterday yeah I, for easter I, I, ate, haven't. I ate some ham his dad made a lot of ham and i was not about to not eat any of it so, I didn't eat it. I tried some. I had some. It was good. I don't know. Even after, like, I don't know, after this whole process, even, like, just, like, I saw the ham, like, come out of the oven. You know, it's, like, a big, yeah. weird shape. Like, even just looking at it kind of grossed me out. Like, that's, like, the pig's body. Like, I I had, like, no desire to eat it. That's fair. I mean, what do you, what about I, like, taking B12, though? Because I know, for me, I can't swallow, I can't swallow pills. <laughs> so, like, McKenna was like, oh, I'll go get us. She got this thing of B12, and knowing that I can't swallow pills um, and got the pills instead of the vitamins, like the chewable ones, which they still they have. they were like for, half the price. They're not half the price. It, they were like, the other ones were like were, $15 more. Yeah, that's the B12s were like $15, and then the gummies were like $30. Yeah, but I literally can't. So if you would have given me the extra $15. I would have given you the extra $15. Okay, you didn't well, even give me the option. We're running out of low anyway so so we'll get those next time yeah. but yeah i i think i took like five or six b12s <laughs> it took them like whole, five minutes for the whole 30 days and it takes time. me like 10 minutes <laughs> yeah to figure out how to swallow it because I, I don't know how and, and i should take a video of you doing yeah it. maybe we should uh, that'll be the next challenge that i do <laughs> 30 days of trying to learn how to swallow a pill but i feel like it's good that i don't know how to swallow a pill or you could like like you could grind it up and put it on something like it's disgusting who okay. grinds up a pill and puts it on If you food? put it on, like... What food are you going to put it on? Ice cream, like dairy-free ruin ice cream. Ice, ruin ice cream. You can't taste it. You can taste it, dude. Or, like, 
I don't know, put in applesauce, like put in something where it kind of disappears for a little bit. No, because I no, no <laughs> not, not at all. Giannis cooking chicken also. Yeah, it's just like I think that if we'd done it for longer and I kept sucking at taking B12, that being a vegan probably would have like hurt me yeah. in a lot of ways not taking it because apparently it's a very important vitamin mm -hmm. um that you need you need to have and honestly after watching everything we, after like kind of doing all the research that we did mm -hmm. found out that pretty much everybody should be taking b12 because um, a lot of a lot of animal products don't really have a whole lot of B12. yeah the only way they because they inject them yeah the, they get the vitamin is from injections and and so it's yeah. not necessary there's like some debate as to whether or not it's being absorbed in your body mm -hmm. correctly anyways so they say that you should just supplement it anyways but uh when you can't swallow pills you gotta chew gummies like a six-year-old and that's that's what i have to do so um i'll have to get some of those what, what was the what was the did you ever take those flintstone vitamins when you were yeah younger? Ugh, I which, can like taste it right now. Which ones are those? Which ones are those? The, I don't even know. Chocolate, like a, which weren't there chocolate vitamins too? Yeah. I didn't take a chocolate one. Yeah, there were definitely there were chocolate ones. They were kind of weird, but I, I like yeah. the regular like Flintstone ones. Ugh, I can I never liked them. I, they just I, taste I, like chalk. Vitamins, dude. Like, I like them. Ugh, and then what is that other one? There was like a vitamin C one that tasted like don't a cherry. You, I've seen you eat um, Tums. And because you said yeah, I don't. Good. No, I don't like Tums. the taste of them. Those taste like the Flintstone like things, chalk. like chalk. Yeah, no, yeah. no, the Flintstone things are way better no. than Tums. Like Mom made Ariana take chocolate women's vitamins at age five. <laughs> That's not good. That's probably not healthy. Um, I had a friend that said that um, vitamins, or he, he was explaining that he takes vitamins, but one of his friends makes fun of him. It says that vitamins just make your uh, piss more expensive because they don't do anything, which mm. isn't necessarily true. But the the um, truth in that is that if you're taking like a ridiculous amount of vitamin C or other things, like things yeah. that you don't like, if you're taking way more than you need, it's not really doing you any more good than taking what you're. Yeah. Regular and I like be. am a huge believer in that you like like I don't really take vitamins and I feel like you should be able to get all of your vitamins through what you eat you know yeah. like the only reason we have all these supplements is because people aren't eating like what they're supposed to be eating yeah but um what about with like athletes and protein shakes and stuff well that's like that's not a vitamin yeah but you're still supplementing because you're saying you should get everything through Diet. Well, that well, you're still eating the shake. That's fair, <laughs> I guess. It's just like a protein powder. Yeah, I mean, I feel like protein's like totally different. Like if you. Oh, that's fair. And if I don't know, you're not acting like like a normal human. Like you're trying to, you know, advance yourself. So you might need extra help then. And I, I don't know, protein's like not a vitamin, so it's, it's kind of hard to compare it. But. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah, I, spe I don't know. For me, though, I I just had to... I struggle with getting enough protein, so... Yeah. And for, like, people who think that, like... It wasn't that hard getting protein as a vegan. I didn't no, think. No, yeah, it wasn't. A lot of like, people think that you what, can't. Yeah. yeah, I think... Who didn't... I think even John said that when we were on PlayStation. Oh, yeah. He was, like, saying something about, like, how are you getting protein? And yeah. It's, it's a really common misconception... And, um, I think I actually had mentioned, I think I, and I used to think that way too, because someone had brought it up to me and, uh, that was a vegan and I said, to, said, you know, well, how do you get protein? And they were like, well, what do you think the animal eats yeah. that you, and it's, I mean, it's, you it know, it's very, it's a lot more complex than that, but it's, yeah, it's, what are they eating? You know, how does that, how do they, how does that become, you know, how do they get that protein? Mm -hmm. And, um thought that was really interesting and really cool especially and a lot of the food was really good mm -hmm. like yeah tell um tell everybody when how you made the pasta oh Without yeah cheese, so, you cheese obviously i like did a lot of research looked up a lot of recipes and everything and um i made stuffed shells one night and which is like usually made out of like ricotta cheese mozzarella cheese like a lot of cheese 
And so I looked up like alternatives to that and you can actually actually like grind up cashews, the nut, and it um, produces like this creamy, like milky cheese, substitute yeah, yeah, for cheese. So it, and then you can throw some spices in, I threw spinach in and um, it was really good. It tasted like you couldn't even tell that it no, yeah, wasn't it tasted just like normal. Just like a regular yeah, stuffed pasta, shell. yeah, stuffed shell. Um, and we also had uh, cauliflower tacos, which were like my really probably good, my favorite yeah. thing that we made. Um, which is where you basically it's just like a, it's like to me. Um, well, I guess I'll explain how. So we we you have an air fryer at your yeah. house, and so we would take cauliflower and put it in the air fryer, um, crisp it up in there, then uh, crisp the, the tortillas with cheese and um, dairy free cheese. Dairy free, yeah, dairy free <laughs> cheese. Um, on, on a pan then you take your cauliflower and put that into the tortilla um, well actually no you, you douse the cauliflower in barbecue, barbecue yeah. sauce then put it in there and um, but it was supposed to be like a chicken substitute like yeah it's what it tastes yeah. like a it honestly tastes to me like you were eating a beat ups like wing but like you just it felt like I was about to eat wings the whole time <laughs> like I was like kept eating it and I was like I, I don't know like but I'm what I'm eating but I like it and it was mm-hmm. like I kept wanting more of them and yeah and that was the thing too like you said you never really felt like f- disgustingly full after eating yeah like a vegan meal yeah and I was actually I think I'm gonna make a video about like kind of my like experience going vegan I mean, well I guess like our you know our mm-hmm. experience going vegan and um that was one of the biggest things is that like no matter how much food I ate in a sitting um I could have got up and ran you know a mile or two like right after like it wasn't like you know when you eat you eat a lot of food and then you just kind of like kind of food coma you're like oh I'm just <laughs> chilling back you can take a nap it was you never had that never had mm-hmm. that um it was yeah it was weird it was everything felt lighter yeah. even like when we tried like because we had fake there were what were the chicken things made out of like soy oh no those were the pea protein oh those, pea protein yeah. it was uh these chicken um tenders but they were made completely out of veggies and veg vegetables yeah. pea protein and they look like chicken tenders and they were breaded like, and everything yeah and they tasted like chicken tenders except for they were way lighter and um yeah they, yeah they were really good they, and it really tasted good. yeah exactly just like, like chicken. chicken yeah it's weird. i think we should have tim try them and see because he's the chicken nugget yeah tim king. is the chicken nugget wizard He's ordered them at every every um, establishment to ever exist with, and serve chicken nuggets. <laughs> Tim's Adam. Um, let's see. What what we got here? Um, Yana said she was grounded for hiding those chocolate vitamins in her closet. And then my mom said, yeah, she used to hide them in the closet. <laughs> um, HGH, a.k.a. the Stellone vitamin. Oh, yeah, human, human growth, growth hormone. hormone. Yeah, it's very, um, I guess controversial i guess in a way it's just steroids basically well, but not steroids well you have it like naturally in your body but yeah like in injecting it that's a whole nother story yeah what well, i mean you can't be rocky with you can't be rocky three and up without mm. it so maybe maybe i don't know I don't know. he got pretty ridiculously jacked for four what about um, those what about those veggie veggie burgers my mom oh yeah um my mom made some veggie burgers. Yeah, those were really good. And they, they were, were bl- yeah, they were really good. They were good. black bean burgers, and Darren refused to have beans the whole time that we did this. I don't really like me- beans, like, straight up. Like, I just think they're disgusting. <laughs> like, I don't like them. Unpopular food opinion, I'm sure. I don't know. Especially among vegans. And that's, like, yeah, it's in a lot of recipes because it's a good, like, protein source, has a lot of vitamins mm-hmm. and everything, and Darren refused to eat them. So then his mom made us burgers, and she didn't tell him what was in it, and he liked it. Yeah, but I mean, it was a component of it. It wasn't like, yo, here's a bean burrito. But yeah, like, you're not just going to snack on, like, beans. It's like... But, like, a bean burrito is literally a a tortilla shell full of of beans. And it's got other rice and other veggies and guacamole. not, not Not what I'm into, but the burgers are really good. And, um, vegan cheese, though, I will say this, vegan cheese... Not really it. Yeah. It's not it. I wasn't really a like fan. The, like the cashew stuff, when you, like that, like, you know, creamy, like whatever for the yeah. shells, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, even some of the, the shredded cheese was like, all right, like it like tasted like cheese, but 
um, none of vegan cheese has any nutritional value to you. Yeah. Because it's made out of like, what is it made out of? Like coconut? Yeah, it's made out of like coconut and potato starch. and. It's like weird random shit. Tastes like cheese for the most part. Um, not really bad, like tasting wise to me at least. I know you said you didn't really yeah, like it. Yeah, I, I liked the like fake American flavored, um, but I didn't like the cheddar. Mozzarella was okay. Um, it didn't really melt the best though. Yeah, we had like a vegan pizza. <laughs> And they would, we had two of, a couple of them, yeah. and they wouldn't, uh, every time we put them in the oven, they like, you wouldn't know when it was done, but then like <laughs> you pull it out and it's like the bottom is completely charred, yeah. but the top looks like it's still frozen. Um, and it was, it was really weird. Very weird. Um, they were pretty good though. They weren't bad. No, they weren't bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the vegan cheese, there's no nutritional value. So, and that sucks <laughs> because like, I eat a lot of cheese and I think that I was probably getting a lot of protein from cheese. So, that that yeah. was tough. You know, a lot of people ask me, though, about milk. Like, how could I go? And it's yeah. milk, not milk, first off. Because people... Yeah. A lot of the people that were asking me, uh, John oh. included, was like... Oh, yeah, John always John was like, milk. John was like, wait, wait you, don't you miss milk? And I'm like, no. What's I, that? I, I, I literally <laughs> kept fucking with him and said, yeah, it's it's milk. And actually, I don't really drink... I didn't really drink a whole lot of milk anyways. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really eat cereal in, until we just became vegan. Like, I used to eat cereal a lot mm-hmm. and stopped eating it for quite a while, and now I'm eating it again. Uh, you guys aren't six feet apart. We haven't been six feet apart the entire time because yeah. she's been the only person that I've And been Kevin's the one saying Kevin, that. yeah, Kevin. What? What about that? You, you say, ask him to that? hang out every that single day. <laughs> that is true. He does ask me to hang out quite a bit. Um... Soon, brother. Soon. This quarantine yeah, will be over. Hopefully. Um, where was I just going with uh oh the milk. Almond milk is really fucking yeah. good. Like But you have to Don't get the yeah. sweet and shit though. Cause I, I like McKenna said that and I didn't believe her. And we had the sweet one mm-hmm. at first by accident because I think your mom got it or something. Yeah. And not it's weird. It's got a weird that's what like, yeah. I think people say, like it has a weird taste mm-hmm. to it and I think that's it. Because the unsweetened tastes exactly like yeah. milk. Tastes exactly like milk. Had giant bowls of cereal with that to um, stay, stay. What is this? Yeah, but when we hang out, we will be six feet apart. What? Duh. Oh man. Well, we'll see. We will see. Um, so we what we were talking about milk. We talked about cheese. Yeah, well, I guess the dairy. In a lot of sense, a lot of people are lactose intolerant too. Yeah. That's what um, from like doing like the mm-hmm. research you did on everything. There was like like a large portion of the population is in some way lactose intolerant yeah and they like either even, don't know it or don't accept it and like continue yeah to and i think that ruin was their stomach definitely i'm definitely one of those people because <laughs> i, used to I don't think you are cream. though like you can eat so much ice cream and like you might feel a little it hurts sick. me really bad though i oh. just do it because i love it oh okay it might be i don't eat so much though, it could be, yeah you might be just used to yeah, it probably building a tolerance um, but i do i like did notice we had a pizza the day right after we stopped being vegan and my stomach hurt so my stomach bad hurt really and bad, it's yeah. still today was the first day so it's like five days four or five days after we stopped and today has been the first day where my stomach hasn't hurt and i didn't even eat like i didn't eat meat mm-hmm. i only had like a couple eggs and i like well, other than the pizza, like a little bit of cheese, nothing like super crazy, and my stomach is still really upset. Yeah, it's um, which I don't think is a good thing. Like, well, that was the same thing too. When like we first switched to vegan, I felt weird too. Like the first day, like my stomach still felt weird. Like I feel like could just because we're switching back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What's your verdict now after doing... You've you've eaten meat all your life, then you switched to pescatarian for the first couple months of this year. Mm-hmm. And then you did a whole month of being vegan. Yeah. What is, how is this going to work um, for McKenna? And then what do you think everyone else should do? I think I'm going to uh, stay... Do like in maybe like a 70-30 or like 80-20 lifestyle. Like try to be mostly vegan. Um... But, like, have cheese or dairy, like, here and there. Um, I just felt like I slept a lot better while I was vegan. I know you don't feel the same. But, like, 
I, I whenever I went to bed, like I didn't wake up until whenever I was supposed to wake up. Like I slept so well. So I don't know. That's I to do more research. I know. It's all anecdotal or anecdotal. How do you say that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so that's that's my plan. So why? Okay, why? Um, but why? <laughs> why? Why do you want to do that? Um, what is your main reasoning? Like, what is the driving reason? force of you wanting to do this? Well, I'm an animal lover. Animal lover. So, like, I feel emotionally better because I'm not. I would like feel guilty after I ate meat. I feel like, um, mm-hmm. and even though like even with dairy, like you're not necessarily like killing them. Like they're still mistreated and are injected with weird things that they shouldn't be injected with and yeah. there's a environmental whole aspect of it where they're, they're polluting the atmosphere yeah. there's like i don't know just watch the documentary but um yeah, you definitely should you guys should definitely check out the game changers documentary it's really cool actually and then with really my informative. my niece being she was born with pku so like she's gonna have to what is pku, PKU so she can't know. have um like she can only have a very small amount of protein so uh in the protein that she'll be able to eat like she'll have to get through like a protein shake um just because her body doesn't have like the enzyme to break down protein Mm -hmm. so even like some vegetables like spinach she can't have because that has too much protein in it so she'll basically have to be vegan like her whole life so like my sister is um going meat free too just so we can kind of like start making um, habits now, yeah. yeah. Making habits so like she won't feel so left out. Excluded, yeah. Yeah, yeah which is smart. Um, so that was like the whole thing that kind of made us want to do, do it. it, and having my sister do it too. Like there's someone holding you accountable. My mom was doing it. She lasted like a couple weeks, maybe. Oh, that's pretty good. And yeah, and then she brought home wings one day, yeah. <laughs> and she's like. Oh my god, I forgot I can't have these after she brought them home. <laughs> and then that was the end of it. Yeah. Um we uh for me I uh I've like I'm I'm very I'm pretty into fitness, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean like I have very very detrimental body dis uh this what is that called? Dysmorphia. Dysmorphia, yeah. Where I, I yeah, hate. he's very mean to himself. So <laughs> I'm always looking at like how I can, uh, what I can do to eat better or, um, or or work out, you know, better or smarter. Um, and for me, it was something like I hadn't tried, and I'm like at a point. I was at a point right now where it's like I can't. I feel like I can't try a lot of new things, um, fitness wise, which I probably am wrong. I'm sure I've. You know, there's a lot of great stuff on on even YouTube that people are, you know, with a lot of like mm-hmm. at home workouts and stuff and Beachbody.com and shit has a lot of stuff. So um, there's a lot of different things to do, but like it was something that I wanted to try that was kind of different. That like yeah. And and the, my thing was like I wanted to do what's best for me, yeah, but I wanted to like see after like watching the documentary and like listening to all these people talk about it. Um, I kind of like. I came in my mind to the conclusion that this might be better for like the planet. Yeah. And that's and not like yeah. just animals either, like just like everything. And that's something that I'm I really care about is like the earth. And I mean that's why like mm-hmm. we you know we've done a lot of things on this channel that or talked about it a lot. That I just I think we we should be conscious of it. And um, if you know over farming of, of a crop and that's where like it just gets so gray um where it's like yeah do i support these these big brands um with these farms that are just you know still destroying land because mm-hmm. they're just doing soy year after year yeah. after year and there's all the soil erosion but then there's the same thing with these farms where these giant um ma- amounts of land are being set aside to just keep these these cows in cells right next to each other and it's like I don't know. It's just way too much to think about. So I think um, <laughs> until I can get like a professional dietitian, um, I did it. I went vegan for thirty days. Um, I I felt some some differences in certain things, um, but I don't know that I'm going to be staying vegan completely. I'm going to be like mostly. Yeah, vegan. you haven't really decided what you wanted to do yet. 
I haven't really eaten a lot of meat. I like I we I had ham. Had, and you had pepperoni. And, eggs. and I had pepperoni on the pizza. So shit, I'm fucking up. <laughs> um, but no, I just and bacon yesterday too. And bacon in the morning. Oh my god, it's like the worst. Yeah. That's like <laughs> the worst. Um, no, I just I think uh, I'm gonna try and keep it to as much of that as possible. And then if my but if my friends want to go get food or I'm at a restaurant and they don't have that kind of an option, I'm not gonna be that guy. Yeah. That's like, can't eat here or if someone's like oh we cook it on the same stove is yeah is like meat. we were never that like, extreme about it yeah i'll be like dude i don't i don't give a fuck you know like i'm trying to i don't know what the right answer is and nobody does but i'm not gonna pretend that i do so i'm just i'm just gonna take it uh meal by meal i guess until yeah. i figure out what's going on until i see more more research or or more things get done i guess but it's been really weird too like we went vegan all my, um, all my, like, classes have been, like, my, my business classes, like, in school, and then I have the one environmental class mm-hmm. to begin with, have all been, like, about, like, um, not necessarily factory farming, but all these different, like, greenhouse gases, like, all these, like, environmental shit, and, like, not just my environmental class, like, yeah, every like one of my, business like, my business operation it, yeah. management, um, my, like, uh, what is it, it's, like, communications of some sort of business thing it's like all about like uh greener businesses and stuff like that and it's it's really weird that it all happened at like the same time which kind of freaked me out like they're spying on yeah. me or something and it was kind of nice doing it during the quarantine too just because like oh, yeah. like we couldn't go out to eat really so like that we didn't have that tempting us and um and like how you said no one buys like the weird vegan food in the aisles Which so that was true. like everything no that was fine. left so yeah we went to jewel um and everything the whole frozen section was gone and then there's the vegan <laughs> spot just untouched and so i was like all right fuck it yeah we got food at least and oreos are vegan oh, yeah. oreos are and vegan. we found like a lot of things that you wouldn't think are vegan like what was another be. thing like the frosting like oh make, yeah frosting we made cookies and Darren's like, oh, I really want to put frosting on these. I like looked at this one brand we had had no dairy in it. I'm like, that's kind of freaky. Yeah, that's like, what weird. is it made out of? That? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So that's the thing. A lot of people get wrong, or like, worse people are scared of things that they don't understand. And I totally get that. Um, vegan is a higher intellect. However, it is also more expensive to sustain your protein needs. Um, I would. Say- I, I don't know that it's necessarily a yeah. higher intellect, but I mean, you definitely have to like think about what you're eating. You definitely you have, have to, to check like, think every about, label. Yeah. You definitely um, have to be a lot more um, meticulous in preparing. And I feel like Taylor Walter, what's up? What's um, going on? Some of the products were a little more expensive, but then you have to think about like you're not going out to eat as much because there's not as many Vegan options. options. Yeah. So like you're probably saving money not, not, in the long you're not run. Not driving either yeah. as much right now because the quarantine but in general like if you were all vegan like you wouldn't be driving to go get food at places and then paying for that service mm-hmm. and the food which is upcharged yeah so like all that um kind of adds up but yeah i, I definitely think because I, I probably wasn't getting enough protein though but i don't think i get enough protein anyways yeah like, I, mean, I just don't know had, how to eat we had vegan protein shakes but like we did a vegan protein shake for pretty good them. well i had a couple of yeah, them but it's just like i get like protein shakes gross me out after a while <laughs> like if i it has to be made, like, I have to make it perfect. And, like, I have my own protein shake, like, like recipe that, like, I make. And, like, 90% of the time, I feel like I, I don't even make it right. And, like, I got it off YouTube, and I've been using it. And, like, whenever I make it right, it's, like, the best thing in the world. But, like, I always put, like, it's it's really simple. I think it's, like, it's this Ohio State. Um, weight gaining Like, weight, shake. weight gaining yeah. shake that they give to their football players, like, during the season to keep their weight up. Um, it's, like... It's a whole scoop of protein, uh, of like a chocolate whey protein, um, an entire cup of chocolate milk, um, one full banana, and then like a huge <clears throat> like tablespoon of peanut butter and you throw it in there. And, and then you put ice to make it cold and then blend it. And like, if I don't put ice in it, I can't drink it at all. Yeah, it's weird. It's like disgusting. Even and though then, it's still cold from like the it's milk. It's not cold and... enough though. Like it needs to be like milkshake okay. temperature or else I can't do it. Um... And then, 
But it, it's like 90% of the time I don't like it. And like I still drink it when I make it, but mm -hmm. like I'm miserable drinking it. But then there's that like 10% where like I have it and I'm like, oh, this is fucking awesome. I could slam like three more of these. And But yeah, it's just, I don't know. And then I used to love the um, Fairlife Core Power. 40, they had, yeah, I know. I used, but that was before they did their whole fucking beating the shit out of cows. Yeah. They, um, they had these 42 gram protein shakes that were like the best protein sh like tasting wise ever and like they would be they were on sale when i lived in janesville for like two for seven bucks which is kind of expensive still but after you get done working out seven bucks you get 84 grams of protein in like 10 That's seconds like, like you just chug two of them and then i had to shit immediately after I, my, my apartment <laughs> was two minutes from from my house and the gas station was halfway in between so <laughs> in one minute I would chug both of them and then walk upstairs and immediately have to Ew. go to the bathroom. It's probably not good. Yeah. Something was probably wrong. Yeah, and that's another thing I think you learned um, being vegan too. Like, you don't really need as much. Like, you always thought you needed a pound, a gram per pound, but you, it's a gram per kilogram. Was that was that what they said? Yeah. The... So like, and there's I think there's two kilograms per pound. I'm still pretty sure you need to get a. You yeah. should shoot for. And I took that nutrition class and I said that. But, so, like, you probably need, like, half of what you... But to gain muscle? Yeah. Wow. And then it's, like, Maybe. just to maintain, like, to have a normal diet, it's, like, I think it's, like, half a um, mm. gram per kilogram. Yeah, so that, that's... That's what's in... Oh, Kevin asked what's in it. Yeah, that was what's in the shake. You had to write that down. It's one banana. It is tasty. One, one cup of chocolate milk. One scoop of... Um, or two of your psycho <laughs> scoops of, of weight chocolate protein. Or then, vegan protein. Or vegan protein. And then uh, a fat slab of peanut butter on top. It's Put some ice. Is. 